Well, it's been a few days. We're gonna go down to the chicken coop, collect some eggs, do a little investigation. Open up the chicken coop door there. Go over there and their favorite compartment here, they like to lay in, collect these eggs here. Boop. Got all them eggs here. Put them in our little basket here. They got all these compartments here. They got one, two, three, four, five, and six over there. We got six different ones. And this here, obviously, is their favorite one to lay in. They love laying in that one. Don't know why, maybe it's for security, but that's their favorite one to lay in. We'll take those up there. Just a little chicken coop detail, that's all, no big deal. And then we'll do a sort of walk around here. We got some uh, new, new chickens. Doing a little walk around the chicken coop, doing a little investigation. Make sure everything's everything. Sully's doing his inspection. I need to get some field dirt. I really do. Field dirt. I got a spot back here where it keeps eroding away and washing away. And we got some projects coming up here. Yep. Around our fire pit that y'all have seen a million times. We're going to get a patio. We're going to put a patio in or at least a concrete slab or something because when it rains, it pulls up around there. But look at these, I spotted these growing. They look decorative or ornamental, I don't know, but they grow wild. We did not plant these. We got them all over the place. We got them back there. They grow down the hillside. You know them hanging baskets you buy that's got the ferns in them? We got, they grow wild all back through there in the woods. I could go back there and dig them up. We've got May apples everywhere. Let's walk over here. We're gonna see if we can find some May apples. Yeah, there's some over there I'm looking at. We got all kinds of stuff. We got purple dead nettle. That stuff's good for all kinds of stuff. It probably ain't nothing, I've never found them, but morels sometimes grow under May apples, but May apples. We got those that grow everywhere too. They get these little green fruits under them. There they are right there. That's a male. See that one right there? Yeah. There's one right there. And a fun fact about May apples, when they grow, if they have this on there, that's green, that's still poisonous. But when they turn bright yellow, they're very edible. And they're really, really sweet. The thing is, is getting them before the animals do. So there's a little trick you can do. I haven't done it yet, because I'm not real, real, I'm busy and I haven't done it, but if you really want those fruits, you can put chicken wire or something around your patch and that way the animals can't get to them because as soon as they turn yellow, the animals, squirrels, whatever, raccoons, deer, possums, everything will eat these. So it's almost impossible getting them when they're yellow. You don't want to eat them because they are po they're toxic, poison. We got patches and patches and patches of them everywhere. But morels will sometimes grow underneath of them. But I've never seen any around, around here. They're hard to find. When I first moved out here, I'd come back in the woods and I would find I probably filled up three lawn sacks full of uh, bones because where I live at used to be an old cattle farm from what I've been told and I believe it because my neighbor grew up out here and he told me it was an old cattle farm and it sure enough is because 
I still keep finding bones out here. Like right here's a pile, a pile of old cattle bones. Yep, there's an old, that looks like a vertebrate. Yep, backbone, some ribs. <laughs> Cattle bone, yeah, that's a, that's a rib bone, something, probably pelvis or something, but I'll come down and clean them up. Yep, there's more of them. I guess they're coming out of the ground, coming to the surface, I guess, from the rain and erosion, I guess. I don't know. Is this here? Yeah, these are, these are old, old, old bones. Yeah, you can tell it's probably been there, I don't know, 30, 40 years. I couldn't even tell you. I'm not a bone expert, but I can definitely tell it's an old bone. I always come down here exploring and looking, wild onions. That's a pretty hefty stack of onions or whatever they call them, a stand or something. I'll come back and get those later. I like some wild onions. So there's some more may apples right there. Some of y'all might know what may apples are. Some of you may not, I don't know. But see, none of these have uh, have the uh, 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 fruit on the bottom of them. I've been told this is one plant that is actually male and female. Like these don't have a fruit underneath of it. None of them do. I don't know how they reproduce. I don't know how that works with them, but that's what I was told. I don't know. Could not tell you. I just come down and wander around, that's all. I like discovering new stuff, new plants. See what's medicinal, what's edible, what's not. Ooh, look, it's a very rare, look at this, it's rare. It's one of my dogs uh, glow in the dark uh, balls. And then we got this stuff here, it grows wild everywhere. It's called wild garlic mustard. It's got the four, four white petals on it. And I've heard that it's very edible. Some people like it. I've chewed on it. It's, uh, you can eat it raw. You can cook it, steam it, stir fry it, put it in soups, whatever you want to do with it. I'll take this log up here. We might throw it in the fireplace. Take it, throw it up in the fire pit. We might have a fire here in a little bit. I don't know. I'm shocked the, the dog ain't uh, out there with me. Oh, they're in the chicken house looking for, get out, come on. All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all don't wanna hear me huffing and puffing, so I'll get back with y'all in just a little bit. How cool would that be to be a bird?